On January the 5th, a newly elected congresswoman descended from the White House then, reported to the world that the next day, our democracy will be under repair. While on the other side of the town in a dark, damp parking lot, another planning session was conducted by three white supremacists represented by three crackpots. Both planning sessions concluded that the electoral counting must be aborted, hoping that the vice president would stand with them with plan that they had supported. The next day, before the president spoke, MAGA supporters tried to bring their gun to stop what they thought was the stealing of their vote. The 45th president greeted his loving crowd to first wish them well. After his speech, he instructed his crowd to march to the Capitol and fight like hell. With thousands of MAGA supporters armed with flagpoles and gloves, attack the police because they are protecting the institution that they said they love. Our democracy was defended by a handful of brave souls against an angry mob with destruction as their goal. Politicians called their family while listening to the crowd screaming, Hang Mike Pence, with only a handful of Secret Service agents as their last line of defense. Finally, the president got on TV and told his supporters to leave the Capitol Dome and that he loved and cherished them and to peacefully return to their own. After the MAGA attackers attacked our democracy on a day that will live on in infamy, awake their fate from judges who they hope will have some sympathy. Vote Blue in 24.